Thank you for taking time to view our short informational video. In this video, we're going to talk about Dominion's Strategic Underground Program. We will first review details of the program, and after that, we will talk about homeowner partnership and the impact this project has on you. The Strategic Underground Program is a system-wide initiative that focuses on shortening restoration times following major storm events. Our data suggests that by undergrounding the most outage-prone tap lines, we will significantly reduce the duration of electric outages following major storms. Dominion has been conducting reliability studies to determine which overhead lines throughout our service territory are the most prone to outages during major storms. As the most outage-prone lines are identified, we will work with property owners to remove the overhead lines and replace them with underground. This will help us to achieve our goal to reduce the number of locations that our crews are sent to to make repairs following a major storm. Now let's discuss what it takes to get power to your home. Energy is produced at a generation station and carried through transmission lines. The energy then goes through a substation where it's carried through main lines. You can think of the main lines as the trunk of a tree. From the main lines are branches we call tap lines. These tap lines go into neighborhoods and include the service line that feeds your home. It's important to understand that even when these lines are underground, outages can still sometimes occur and this is because a portion of Dominion system will remain above ground and subject to extreme weather. But by undergrounding the most outage prone lines, we can greatly reduce the frequency and duration of outages. Our data shows that by undergrounding just 20% of the most outage prone overhead tap lines, we can reduce the length of storm restoration by 50%. This benefits all customers because by reducing the number of repair locations, our crews are able to restore power for all customers more quickly. Now let's discuss what it takes to convert power from overhead to underground. There are six stages to the Strategic Underground Program. The first stage is evaluation. We review 10 years worth of historical data to select the most outage prone overhead lines. Once our data tells us where those projects are, we move on to the second stage, which is where we start making site visits. We have employees and authorized contractors that will determine the feasibility of replacing those overhead lines, as well as a possible route for the underground lines. The third stage is obtaining easement documents. These documents, signed by the property owners, give Dominion the ability to install and make repairs to the underground lines. Now we will work with all property owners along the proposed route in order to obtain these easements. This is important because those neighbors who are on that proposed route will need to sign an easement in order for us to move forward with the project. So once all easements have been acquired, we move on to the next stage, which is what we call pre-construction. All public and private underground lines and equipment will need to be identified and marked during this stage. Dominion will coordinate with VA811, which was formerly known as Miss Utility, to identify the public underground lines. We will also work with property owners to identify any private underground equipment such as irrigation systems, dog fences, septic tanks, and things of that nature. Next is the construction and conversion stage. During the construction process, we are not only installing underground cable, but also the pad mount transformers and pedestals. When installing the cable, we will primarily be using a trenchless technology called guide drilling in order to reduce the amount of impact to properties. After construction is complete, we will then convert your power from overhead to underground. Now the last stage is property restoration. And as I just mentioned, the cable will be installed using a trenchless technology called guide drilling. Now this equipment will help to reduce the impact to your yard. However, there may be situations where we'll have to dig small holes in order to ensure the cable is being installed correctly. And in these situations, the holes will be filled in and we will restore your property to a similar condition as it was prior to construction using seed and straw. Now it is possible that telephone and cable companies also have facilities on the poles in your neighborhood. We will work with these companies to assess the feasibility of placing their lines underground at the same time as ours. We know that they will need to evaluate each project on a case-by-case -case basis to determine the best business solution for them. So, it's possible that the poles will remain in order to continue providing you with cable and telephone service. Now, after all underground construction has been completed and we've transferred the power from overhead to underground, 
we will remove our overhead facilities off the poles. Now before we continue, let me emphasize that even though the poles may remain on certain projects, you will receive an improvement in the reliability of your electric service. So now I would like to talk about homeowner partnership and the impact this project has on you. As a project continues to progress, we'll need support from neighbors, which comes in the form of signing easements. An easement is an agreement that allows Dominion to install and maintain the equipment on your property. An easement means you can still do day-to-day -day activities such as planting a garden, mowing the grass, and children can still play in the yard. In order for us to move forward with this project, we will need some property owners to sign easements. Now, a common question that we get asked is, will Dominion pay the property owners to sign easements? But because this is a voluntary program, we will not be paying for easements, but if you are in favor of the project and you do choose to sign an easement, we can help you with the notary process. So let's talk a little bit about your meter base. The line coming to your home is either already underground from the pole to your meter base or it is overhead. If you already have an underground line to your house, it will stay the same. For those of you that have overhead lines coming to your house, your current meter base may not be large enough to accept the underground cable. In that case, we may need to install what is called a meter base adapter. Now this is a picture of a typical meter base. You may have noticed one on your home. The L-shaped box around it is called a meter base adapter, and it is one example of an adapter that can accept underground cable if the meter base cannot. So if your meter base currently accepts underground cable, or it will accept underground cable, then we will not need to install the meter base adapter to convert from overhead to underground. We will work with each property owner on a one-on-one -on -one basis to determine if a meter base adapter is needed. There may also be some obstructions, such as decks or patios. These situations may cause challenges with replacing the overhead service line to your house and putting it underground. These will be addressed one-on-one -on -one with homeowners so that we can provide you with all your options. Now you may be wondering, what is this going to cost me? There will be no upfront costs for this program. So how is this program then being funded? Funding for this program will come from a small bill adjustment for all Dominion Virginia Power customers. There are no direct costs for construction and installation. By placing the lines underground, we're able to restore power more quickly for all customers during a major storm event, which benefits all customers. So one question you may want to ask is, what about the green boxes? Those green boxes are called pad mount transformers and are the equivalent to the overhead transformers on the poles. We will need to install transformers and pedestals as part of the project in order to provide adequate underground service to your neighborhood. You may be familiar with the purpose of a transformer, which is to step down the voltage of the cable so that it will work with the appliances in your home. Pedestals allow a single transformer to serve multiple customers. They also decrease the amount of transformers we need and are much smaller than transformers. If you do happen to have a transformer on your property, our crews may need access to the door of the transformer for maintenance purposes, so we ask that you leave a clear space around the transformer so that our crews can work more safely. Here's what you can expect as a project in your area moves forward. The project schedule is driven by the easement stage. Once all easements have been acquired, construction can then begin. The construction time frame will be communicated beforehand with a door hanger showing the construction start date and contact information for the contractor. After all underground facilities are installed, we will schedule an outage that will last between two and four hours so that we can remove the overhead connections and connect the underground feed. Now you will receive 48 hours notice before the planned outage so that you can make any special arrangements you need. You do not need to be home during the time of construction or during the outage, but we will need access to your meter base. We will then come and remove the overhead facilities off the poles. Once construction is complete, we will return your yard to a similar condition as it was prior to construction. So what are the next steps? You may be contacted by one of our contractor partners if there is a project in your area. They will be able to review the proposed design and discuss the need for an easement on your property. If you're ready to sign the easement, our contractors have notaries available and are happy to help notarize the document for you. If you'd like to hold on to the easement to review it, that's no problem. Our contractors will follow up with you to help answer any questions you have. 
We are committed to continuous communication, so you can expect to receive letters providing update information as the project progresses. You can also check the status of your work request online by visiting www.dom.com underground. And once all easements have been secured, we will notify you of the construction schedule. Even though Dominion contractors will be assisting us with easements and construction, a Dominion representative will always be available to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for taking the time to view our video. We really do appreciate your support and we look forward to working with you to improve the reliability of your electric service.